guys, it's me, Joel, and today, time for a different top 10. Now, for my 10 subscriber special, I did the top 10 deaths for the intro. Now, it's time for me to meet my, do my top 10 deaths Mickey Mouse shorts. Mickey Mouse had a share of good shorts. And boy, are they good. Okay, so I'm going to cut down my favorite here today. Here are my top 10 best Mickey Mouse. Number 10, adorable couple. Well, what I found interesting about this episode is that it shows how adorable both Mickey Mouse and many are. All trying to get these and Donald together. Boy, are those and it's hilarious. I love how easily dramatic the Mickey's reaction when he hears the word fight. And Mickey's some that's are really the highlight. But, but I also love these him in the episode. Like that's really pretty fun. But I highly recommend Oh yeah, did I forget to mention, all these shorts are on YouTube, so go check them out. Number 9, the boy alert. What I like about these Mickey Mouse shorts is that they parody some awesome horror stuff. But here, they show a monster in the boy room, where it's actually the stuff that runs their water. The problem is that Minnie's apartment hurt. Water is now cold. I also love the beginning where it shows the prop what would happen if the apartment wouldn't have hot water. I mean, there's one guy who wouldn't shave without it. A guy who wouldn't shower because he's stinky. And one. And that is in skeletons because he has dead skin. That's hilarious. Overall, just a spooky fun episode. I highly recommend. Number eight. Wonders of the Deep. Originally, I was an actual that big of a fan of this episode, but as I got more interested in it, I actually found this probably the most unique episodes of the Mickey Mouse franchise. Donald, Mickey, and Goofy trying to find Ludwig von Drake after he's been eaten by a clam. Uh, and they're being followed by a kraken. It's just all levels of amazing. Overall, a good, wondrous episode. No pun intended. I also love the mermaid scene where it's actually because of a hallucination. It's because too much oxygen. And then Goofy says, Friends, the language of love. <laughs> anyway, highly recommend this episode. Number seven, you, me, and Fifi. Now this episode, so, well, it's kind of like if you take a pal for Gary from Spongebob, uh, but instead of Gary trying to make friends with Puffy Fluffy, it's Mickey trying to be friends with Minnie's pup, Pluto, uh, I mean, Fifi, who doesn't get along with other people. Heck, Minnie actually states... That she doesn't like anyone who isn't Minnie. But in the end, spoiler alert, it turns out that, that she flipped over to Mickey and now she doesn't like Minnie. That's hilarious. Another short I highly recommend. Also, there's a little bit of a callback to another episode that might be on here where Goofy is actually playing go fish with dogs. And we get Lady from, I mean, Nana from Peter Pan, and I think a tramp from Lady and the Tramp. 
I also love Pluto's cameo. It's just got a unique feel to it. Number f- six, the birthday song. Another recent episode where it's based around a certain thing that. Nah. It, this episode's about Minnie making Mickey a birthday song, and she wants to keep it a secret. It, but overall, Mickey is just too hilarious. Even the beginning, he's just cracking me up. I highly recommend this one. Four minutes of worth your time. Also, the song in the end is actually pretty good. It even said... It even ends upon with the whole house being down. And then Mickey says, well, you sure brought the house down. (laughs) Okay, okay, let's move on. Number five, work it stiff. This is probably one of my favorite goof we centered up. It starts basically with Goof be falling asleep when he's actually supposed to be awake for during his job interview. So Donald and Mickey go in disguised as him. You know, I kind of seen this concept in a, Mickey, a SpongeBob episode. Let me think. Oh yeah, Snoozy Loose, where Squidward's actually falling asleep for his clarinet recital. So. SpongeBob and Patrick go disguised at Squidward. That's a neat, neat little nut. Or maybe, the, maybe this episode got went before this. Oh well, better like than never. And, and I really love the twist end thing, which I'm not gonna spoil because you gotta see it for yourself in order to crack up. Let's just say it comes with a crashing. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Number four, Canned. Now, this is the episode I mentioned during You, Me, and Thief. It's about Mickey helping out an old lady with her garbage, where it actually shows her having a big old pile of trash in her backyard. And all the misery Mickey goes through is actually pretty funny. This is better than those Squidward torture ep- So, Boy, am I making a lot of Spongebob connections. Anyway. We get a lot of camp in the episode. We get a dimension I talked about in You Mean Fifi, where Goofy's actually playing a game of Go Fish with a bunch of rats. And heck, we got a Oswald the Lucky Rat the cameo. It's fun to see him in a making in a television show ever since Epic Mickey. Overall, would I recommend this one? You know what my answer is. Yes, totally recommend it. Again, another four minutes worth your time. Number three, Turkish Delights. This is my most watched episode, and you can totally see why. It's in another country like some of the other episodes, like Dance of Vid... Uh, sorry, I'm looking at my tap, but because, again, some of these are on YouTube. And, mum, but madness. So what makes this one better? Well, it doesn't have some of the you stuff. Like, the other language, which stuff, well, they do have talking in the episode. So, for most of the time, I can't know what they're saying. Mickey trying to sell his well things. I don't know what to call it. Well, avoiding Donald and Goofy, who are other salesmen. So, that's my most watched episode, and you'll probably see why. Number two, doggone biscuits. Another Mickey Mouse, uh, I mean, another Minnie Mouse centered up. So it's actually pretty better than you, uh, than the birthday song. It's about Mickey going away for a month. And then Minnie is in charge of Pluto. 
And Mickey advised him to not feed Pluto. Oh, a bunch of his favorite treat. He says he only gets a treat when he's good. And then Minnie says that's all the time. And then guess what happens? She actually feeds him all the biscuits. Which makes Pluto fat and... All the attempts of Minnie trying to get Pluto back to his normal self is actually pretty hilarious. This, this along with Turkish Delights, is my most watched episode. But what can be it? An episode I've seen a million times that I can't help but love it. First, let's go through some honorable mentions. Uh, cable Car Chaos. The first episode of season two, I think. I don't know, it may just be me. This episode really shows how much of a great duo Minnie and Mickey can be. It actually has a cool side plot with Minnie trying to stop the cable car, which ends up backfiring. And the reason why the cable car is out of control is actually pretty hilarious. I hope. Totally recommend it. The Perfect Dream. You know, I wanted to like this episode, but... Me, it's just... Boring. I'll call this a... Dishonorable mention. Cause... God, is it a... Boring as heck. Girlfriend and Black and White. Like I said with the Boiler Room, making it... These shorts really know how to get their horror on. It's very good. They're good, spoopy fun, and I highly recommend them. Now, on to my top pick. Number one. And Potato Land. Yeah, this is my most watched episode of the Mickey Mouse series. It's about Mickey and Don while making Goofy's dream come true about a place called Potato Land. Where it's mostly about potato. Where it's actually Idaho, America's potato land. And, and I love how caring both Donald and Mickey are towards Goofy. It really shows how much of a friendship they have. But, In the end, it really shows how much they all care for each other. And I love the twist ending where it actually is collapsing over the sun, melting the gravy. So, these, those are my top 10 favorite Mickey Mouse shorts. I highly recommend them. Now, now what's going to be next for the future? Well, next week I'm going to be doing... a month called Sonic the Hedgehog Month, where it's mostly going to be about Sonic the Hedgehog. I'll see you then.